Hello everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself, Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's begin today's current affairs. But guys, I hope all of you know that we have already launched the live courses for RBI Sabi and Nabat. And if you want to know more about the co courses, you can do so through our application. Also, you can visit our main website, www.anujinder.in. In case you have any queries related to the course that we offer or, your, uh, or you need any kind of guidance in your preparation, you can call us or you can drop a mail to us. Last but not the least, we have discussions forum as well, discussions.anujinder.in, where you can post your queries and we try to resolve them then and there. So that was all. I hope that the students who have been watching me for some days now they already know what step do they need to take they need to download the pdf the link or the pdf is already provided on the telegram channel and the link of the channel is in description below so i hope that all of you have the pdf with you i'm starting with the question so the very first question is where is padmaja naidu himalayan zoological park located so here guys the right answer is option D. Darjeeling. It is located in Darjeeling. Now, Padmaja Naidu Himalayan Zoological Park. Why is it in news specifically? The reason is that this zoological park has announced to transfer 20 red pandas to the Singela National Park, which is in West Bengal. So this is the entire news all about. So do remember the numbers of the pandas as well as the species, that is the red panda. You would be amazed to know that in the world, only two species of pandas are uh, existing as of now. One is the red panda and another one is giant panda. So only these two type of pandas exist in the world. So let's know more about pandas because it's really interesting to know. Did you ever know prior to this video that panda is the state animal of Sikkim and India is home to two subspecies of the red panda which are the Himalayan red panda and the Chinese red panda and you must have seen very various movies on panda as well the animated movies uh, then the red pandas are classified as endangered in the IUCN's red list whereas the giant pandas are uh, classified as vulnerable. So endangered is a more precarious situation. Therefore, the red pandas need more conservation. Now, guys, you must have heard about the transfer project of cheetahs. Can any one of you tell me from which country are we bringing in cheetahs into the Kuno National Park, Kuno Wildlife Sanctuary in Madhya Pradesh? This is your first question. Do tell me in the comment section. Okay, so the next question is, uh, where has Swedish home appliance company Electro Electrolux launched its first experience center in India? So here guys, Delhi is the right answer in Saket, Delhi. This company has launched it uh, basically center and there is nothing much to this news actually because it's just that in 2005, this company had divested its entire stake in India and now it is re-entering into Indian market. That is why this becomes a little bit of, uh, of importance. And secondly, that it is the first experience center in India of this company as of now. Okay, so that is why it is important. Where has Nokia established its Nokia Center of Excellence in networked robotics? So here IISC Bangalore is the right answer. And this is guys an important news. So here a specified center has been established. So Nokia Center of Excellence in Networked Robotics. Now second thing of importance from this news that can be asked is the origin of this company. So it belongs to Finland. Okay, related to Finland, you must have heard that Finland and Sweden, both of them have got the accent or we can say agreement of all the NATO partners to enter into NATO. So by now they have become the members of NATO. It's just that the ratification work of accession is pending in the countries itself. So that is the news related to Finland. Now, this center of excellence is basically going to promote the interdisciplinary research involving uh, robotics, your advanced communication technologies in 5G and artificial intelligence. So basically, advancing the technology in the telecom sector, this is, guys, the objective of this center of excellence. The next question is, 
with which bank has Tata, AIA Life Insurance Company Limited recently partnered to sell its insurance. So here guys, the right answer is City Union Bank. Now I hope that all of you know that this kind of partnership is known as the Bank Assurance Partnership or your uh, Corporate Lending Agreement, Corporate Agency Agreement. So that is all to it. Both of these organizations have partnered to sell the insurance policies to the bank's customers. Next is, which of the following companies has signed an MOU with the Ministry of External Affairs for establishing the Trilateral Development Cooperation Fund for joint projects with the global partners? So here guys, the right answer is option E, SEBI Cap, SBI Cap Ventures Limited. It is a subsidiary of SBI. Now I hope all of you remember what this TDC fund is. Uh, guys, don't disappoint me. Say that you remember it. So this TDS fund was established by India. Okay. So we have this triangle of TDS. On the one hand, we have India. On the second half hand, we have UK. And the, here would be a third private partner. As you can see in this case, it is going to be SBI cap. However, the entire burden of this uh, fund cannot be taken by this company alone. More companies are going to partner. Now, what is the purpose of this trilateral partnership? The purpose is to fund development projects in uh, the developing countries or underdeveloped countries. Okay, so that was the major objective. Now, this is one partnership. We have one more partnership with Germany as well. The same name is there for another partnership with Germany. So that was the background revision that I did with you. So now let's move into the news. Okay, so the MOU has been signed between this organization, Ministry of External Affairs for the joint projects with global partners, okay? Now the TDC fund will have rupees 175 crore. Basically India has a commitment to this TDC fund and that commitment is worth 175 crores, okay? And this fund is going to be a part of the Global Innovation Development Fund. Now, what is the purpose of this fund? The purpose of this Global Innovation Development Fund, which again has been launched, launched with the partnership of UK. So it is operated by India and UK. And the purpose of this is to pro promote or provide finances to the project that involve innovation and the projects are located in the least developed countries or the countries in the developing stage. Okay, so that's the basic idea of this fund. So this much amount will be given to this fund or basically what this entire sentence mean, the meaning is that this much amount will be given to the projects that involve innovation, okay? The projects that are basically uh, for innovating techno innovative technologies. That is the basic meaning of this uh, sentence. Now, the GIP fund is proposed to be established in partnership with Foreign, Commonwealth and Development uh, Office of UK, which is uh, a part of India-UK Global Innovation Partnership. Again, it is a very factual data that you need to remember. Apart from this, this SBI Cap Ventures Limited is going to act as the investment manager of this fund and facilitate GIP program for Ministry of External Affairs. So here this statement is important because the SVL has become the investment manager of this fund. So do remember this point. Which of the following banks is supporting the Hindustan Power Exchange Limited? So here ICICI Bank is the right answer. So guys, we have the third power exchange in India and that is Hindustan Power Exchange Limited. So Central Electricity Regulatory Commission has approved the formation of this third power exchange. Now the approval of uh, its formation has been given right now. Therefore, no heads of this organization have been elected so far. Okay. We, uh, there is no CEO as such of this power exchange. Now this power exchange is promoted by PTC India Limited and 
Bombay Stock of Exchange and ICICI Bank. Now, what exactly a power exchange is? Basically, this is a platform. where the electricity will be sold or bought. So it is an electronic or uh, basically a platform like we have these stock exchanges where we buy and sell stocks. Similarly, here we buy and sell electricity. That is the basic idea of this power exchange. Now, guys, we have two more power exchanges in India because it was the third one. So first is Indian Energy Exchange and second one is Power Exchange of India limited and here the basic function of the power exchange is given you can read it on your own which uh, who is the new chairperson of microfinance institutions network so here guys uh, your De devesh sachdev is the right answer so devesh Sachdev is also the founder and CEO of Fusion Microfinance. And guys, this is the important fact. Please note it down or remember it. It can be asked. Apart from this appointment, Prashant Thakkar has also been appointed as the vice chairperson. And Prashant Thakkar is the CEO of Centrum Microcredit. So do remember these two appointments. Now, as far as this MFIN is concerned, so it is basically an organization that works as the self-regulatory organization or rather I should say the industry body for the microfinance companies. That is the basic idea. Okay. Next is who has been appointed as a part-time chairman of Karur Vyasa Bank. So here Meena Hemchandra is the right answer. Now, this person is important because she was the former executive of RBI itself. That makes it all the more important. Now, guys, all the banks which are in the news, it is your responsibility to cover three things about the banks. First is the headquarters. Second is the tagline and the present chairperson or the head of that bank. All of these facts I have already provided you all in the static GK bundle. So from there, you can enroll it if you are an enrolled student. Okay, so the next question is, who, whose life is the mind master winning lessons from a champion's life memoir based on? So basically, uh, this book is based on whose life? So here the right answer is Vishwanathan Anand. And this book is basically a memoir. So obviously, Vishwanath Anand is going to be one author. And he has written this book in partnership with Susan Nina. So do remember this. Um, the last question is, where was the first edition of the under 15 and under 20 Asian wrestling championship held? So, Manama, which is uh, the capital of Bahrain, is the right answer. So, this championship was held at this uh, place and this was the first edition of this championship. Therefore, the place is also very, very important. Now, India has won 22 medals in the under 20. championship and in under 15 india has won eight medals so that is all regarding this uh, news and here guys this session ends i hope that you have enjoyed the session if you have anything to uh, share with me you can do so in the comment section below or the channels i have mentioned in the beginning of this video thank you so much guys for watching this video have a good day